Oh, oh, hello everybody and welcome. As you can see, Santa Claus came early this year and look what he brought us. Yes, my own, my very own CD. As you know, it's, it's been available online in iTunes and Amazon and Spotify uh, for a while, but I decided to make physical copies, you know, for those of us who still like to uh, put a CD in the slot and listen to it, and it's actually a little better quality than, than MP3s. And I've made the same 30 songs available uh, Online, they're here, but uh, they wouldn't fit in one CD. So you have two CDs. It's a double CD, and as you can see back here, you have the picture of Minitini, and back here you have another picture of. Uh, actually, it looks very. It looks like a very high quality product, uh, very well made. Well, I'm gonna sell this on my website. I'm gonna have three packages. You know, the drop-down menu with three choices. You can buy it together with a sticker for $14.99. You can buy the CD just by itself for $12.99 and I still have the, the option for you guys to order the sticker. Unfortunately, for now, the CDs are only gonna be US. Only US shipping, because uh, I have to figure out how much it's going to be to ship it uh, overseas. But I do believe I'm recording this on uh, December 8th. So this video is probably going uh, online tomorrow, December 9th. So if, if you order within this week, I think I can ship them so you can get them before Christmas. So there you go. And now we're going back to regularly scheduled programming, like they used to say, which is um, actually a video about my music that I um, recorded a couple of days ago. Well, hello everybody and welcome one more time. Today I am going to talk about my music. Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. Here we go, coming to you from my small uh, recording studio here in Miami, Florida. Uh, I think it's a suitable location to talk about uh, the music that I compose for, for my videos. And um, it all started, uh, you know, at the beginning, when, when this used to be a, vi a video podcast way back in 2008, I was uh, using some music from the Podsafe Music Network, which supposedly was safe to use in podcasts. But once I started uploading those videos to YouTube, one day YouTube sends me an email and says, no, oh, you can no longer monetize this video because uh, someone else owns the copyright. So I said, you know what? From now on, I'm writing my own music. And uh, the rest is history. So uh, right now I have, uh, I just um, released a new CD, which is available digitally and uh, phys in physical media as well, as well as in streaming services. It is called Free In My RV. And it's a compilation of the 30 main songs, uh, pretty much all of them. There's a couple of them that, that I decided not to include because um, I wasn't really happy with the way they came out. But everything else, this 30 songs is going to be a two CD set or a compilation album. It's called Free in My RV and it has, you know, that familiar picture of me with the RV and there's Monument Valley in the back. And it's, um, I think it's very nice. I put them, I didn't put them in chronological order. I put them pretty much in the order that I like them the most. And I'm going to play now the songs for you. And I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little story about each one of them. Because um, I think it will be interesting to know uh, the origin of each one of these songs. And I'm going to listen to them with the headphones. But uh, when you hear it, I'm going to edit it into the, the video so you get it with the most quality possible. The first song, of course, is the intro a song uh, for the videos. It's called Riding in My RV, short version. And it's the one that you see, you know, in the, in the, in the opening of every single video. Second song, it's called Music City. And this is my most uh, recent composition uh, when it comes to, uh, to the, the music for the videos. This one I wrote, you know, inspired by Nashville, Tennessee and the, the drive to Nashville, Tennessee. And it's actually nowadays one of my favorite uh, songs. It has, it has a, 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 like a bridge in the middle that, that is my favorite part. I'm going to play that right now. Yeah, I like it very much. The third song is called California Road Trip and this one I wrote specifically for our uh, California road trip that we did from LA to San Francisco back in, was that 2011, 2012, back in 2012. 
and it's the first video of the Road Nomad series that I started that I that, that I, I thought it would be a good name I eventually I I killed the Road Nomad uh, pseudonym and decided to just go with Traveling Roberts but this is also one of my favorite songs um, and it, it speaks California to me and uh, especially with the guitar riffs I actually did some actual live guitar I borrowed my stepson's electric guitar because I usually just play acoustic and uh, I recorded some of that. Okay, next, the San Francisco Suite, and this is also part of that California road trip, but this song I actually, is the first song and probably the only one I've written thinking specifically of different scenes in the, in the video and writing the music specifically for that. You see, you see it starts like a, a jazzy theme, but if you fast forward a little bit, um, it's gonna turn into a totally different song. And, and I wrote a different, uh, you know, part like thinking of the sunset from uh, from with this with the Golden Gate, and and then I wrote a part thinking of, of Chinatown, and I wrote a part, you know, when we do the the ride in the in the cable car, that was a, a different part. But I, I encompassed all that into one song, which is uh, almost seven minutes long. Let's continue. The next song, all Toronto. And at the beginning of the song, you can kind of... It was inspired by the, by the Canadian anthem a little bit. The old Canada Canadian anthem. And that's why I called it O Toronto. And uh, just the, the very beginning is it's just like a, like a jazzy theme. Very nice. And then... Da, 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 da. That's pretty much... The, the whole Canadian theme. In, the, in three of the Canadian songs, you're gonna hear that particular theme. The next one, O Lawrence. And uh, this is inspired by the Lawrence River and the 1000 Island uh, cruise that we took. And all the songs of Canada, except for one, they have the O Lawrence, just inspired by the O Canada uh, name of the national anthem of, of Canada. And this one, you know, it. it, it yeah, and, and, and ever since this this song, every every video where there has been water, I have pretty much used this song because I like it so much. Yeah, by the way, I have reused many of these songs after I created them from for, for one original video. If I feel that the song fits the 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 images that I'm displaying, of course, I, I reuse it. Okay, this is called O Quebec. And of course, it's dedicated to Quebec City. And, it, and I tried to make it like a jazzy theme with some French influence. Uh, you know, in the, the second verse, you're gonna hear some accordion and... Uh, yeah, it's... I think the accordion is starting right now. No, that's an organ. I played an organ at an accordion. Yeah. Let's continue. The next one it's O Montreal. And this one is of course Mon Montreal is dedicated to the to the city of Montreal. And um, if you can tell it's very similar to the Toronto uh, song in, in rhythm in in speed in harmony and eventually towards the end I'm going to have the Da, da, da. So they are related, they are derivative one from the other in a way. The next song, Montreal Groove, which is similar to Montreal to all Montreal, but with a more techno kind of uh, you know feel to it. And this is a song that uh, originally when we are arriving in Montreal, that's that's the song uh, that, that plays in that video. I'm gonna put links to all all the vid all those videos in the description, probably. Okay, crossing the Rockies. This is another song that I kind of created, thinking of the the landscape that we were gonna be seeing. Uh, you know, it starts you know like very much like a rhythm, and then when we stop, that's when we stopped at Starbucks uh, to to drink some coffee on our way up the Rockies. That was it, and then it, it continues. Uh, with that same riff and I'm gonna fast forward now towards the part in the end where we start when we cross start crossing the, the Glenwood Canyon and 
and the landscape changes completely and it's no longer those uh, snow-capped mountains but it's more like the the, the sandstone uh, canyons you know we start going the west of the rocky mountains and that i've used uh, quite a bit in um in the for the drone videos i, I kind of like it for that okay let's continue foothills and this is another one of my favorite slow songs uh, of, of all this of all the tunes that i have this is called foothills foothills and uh, i wrote it for denver because you know uh, we are at the foothills of the rocky mountains so we see the mountains in the distance but it's a, in general a very relaxed very the, the city inspires relaxation so mm, that's why i wrote it uh, and uh, it's it's one of my favorite ones and uh, and i think you guys uh, some uh, like it quite a bit and whenever i'm in a place uh, relaxed and uh, that that feels like this song i play that i play it how many songs have we played already this is uh, okay the next one i now have two songs which are related desert song and desert song part two and this is the grand canyon all the way see this one starts very low starts great gaining volume and and it's a lot of synthesizers and um, I'm probably gonna fast forward and just play the most important parts of the song and it's uh, it's imp inspired by by that those amazing landscapes of the of the Wild West the Grand Canyon and then of course I reused it for Monument Valley and I've reused it whenever you know uh, Arches National Park all those places that inspire that that, that those those all inspiring uh, arid landscapes okay that's part one and then there's parts two part two part two starts with a with a with a sunrise on the on the grand canyon and actually that's that's uh, what inspired it originally and then of course it continues with more rhythm and let's continue okay london pride London Pride, I wrote it of course for my London video and uh, it doesn't quite, it, it didn't quite end the way it started. I started like thinking Beatles, uh, Sgt. Pepper, Lonely Bands, uh, Lonely Band, uh, uh, Sgt. Pepper, Lonely Hearts Club Band, but it, it morphed into something something completely different uh, as, I, as I was uh, composing it and um, it's another one of my favorite ones actually, I really like it and I've used it in a couple uh, other videos after that. Next, of course, Paris. And this is another one of my favorite melodies. And uh, like m m the, the, best mem the best melodies that I come up with, I came up with that I think was in the bathroom. And I was like, mm, da 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 da. Oh, mm, that sounds good. Let me record it quickly before I forget. <laughs> and this song just says Paris. If, if, if you listen to it, it's like, you, you 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 kind of uh, it it kind of feels a, a mixture of Charles Arznavour uh, with uh, with Michel Legrand with Edith Piaf singing in the background. That, that's what inspires it. Let's continue. Okay, the Dalton Highway. This begins, I think, the second CD. Okay, the Dalton Highway, of course, this was inspired by the Dalton Highway in Alaska. And this was actually the second song that I wrote specifically for a trip. The Dalton Highway, this was in 2010. But I said, this, this video is, is, going, is, is going to be great. This is a unique chance we have to be here uh, 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 above the, the, Arctic, the, the, Arctic, the Arctic Circle. We actually it went all the way up to the, to the Arctic Ocean. Then the next song is like an incidental, this is only 30 seconds, it's called Grayling Lake and I just wrote it inspired by the site of Grayling Lake which is just on the side of the of the Dalton Highway, it's, it's before the town of Coldfoot which is the first sign of civilization you see for 200 miles or so. so. Okay, the next song, this is the first song that I wrote for a traveling video specific 
and I wrote it for my original Miami video, which originally was a rehash of some footage that I took for my other podcast that I, that, that I began before my traveling podcast. I had a, a video podcast before called the Tropical Music. And um, I took some shots of Miami, you know, and, and uh, in 2008, and, and eventually I said, hmm, this would make a great travel video of Miami. And at the time, I, 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 I shot it, and it became one of my most popular videos, actually. actually. The next one is inspired by my hometown of Havana, Cuba. It's a uh, sun. It's inspired by traditional Cuban music. And you have the congas, the bongos, and the, the acoustic bass, the, the piano riff. It's a cha-cha, it's a cha-cha-cha piano riff, uh, really. And then it, it, it kind of morphs into more like a sun or a, a mambo, actually, because now we're going to have some, some um, saxophone going. So it's kind of inspired, inspired by the music of Benny More, kind of the, the, the 1950s uh, Cuban music. Ne then Puerto Rico blues, which is in, 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 in part inspired also by Puerto Rican music, by songs like El Jibarito, uh, that kind of thing. I think it came out good. I wrote it for my Puerto Rico road trip, uh, which uh, I... I, I um, that was uh, spring of 2010. That was also one of my... my 2011, I'm sorry, uh, one of my earlier <coughs> travel videos. The next one is a reggae, no, need to, no introduction, this is called Key West, and in parentheses Cayo Hueso, which is Key West in Spanish. So um, this song needs no introduction, it's Key West. And just uh, thinking about it, you feel like uh, sipping mojitos uh, uh, by watching the sunset in Mallory Square. That's that's what I see. New York theme. This was also very old for the first trip that I did to New York. Well, the second trip that I ever did to New York. Uh, and this was ooh, uh, early 2010, 2011. And this, I actually, I, I, I wrote it live. I, I just, I, I have one of these keyboards that has a, a, a you know, like a or orchestration on the left hand and then you do the melody on the right hand and that's what I did. I just press the chords on the left hand with the orchestration. I just came up with that melody and, and I liked it. It, it. it really spoke New York to me, but this one also speaks to New York to me, the next one, which I wrote it for the New York portion of my our road trip. We did a road trip in the, in the Christmas of 2012, I believe. We didn't have an RV yet. So we just stayed at hotels, using Hotel Tonight or, or the hotel that come up. And um, eventually we ended up in New York and I thought, that, you know, we, we were gonna drive through Harlem, through Spanish Harlem, through the Bronx. And these neighborhoods kind of inspired hip hop. Actually hip hop was born in those uh, neighborhoods. So I say, I'm gonna try to shoot for, a, for an, uh, an instrumental kind of hip hop-ish uh, kind of tune. And I think it came out good. I think it, it it, it fits uh, the imagery uh, of New York uh, under the snow, like very, not under the snow, but it was cloudy. It was, it was a, a great day. And um, the next one, uh, I, I have to mention my friend Jesus Jorge, AKA Chuchi, because he helped me out with this uh, tune. I pretty much, I came up with a basic melody and then he came up, he, he, he plays a trumpet, he plays a flugelhorn, he plays a, a trombone, and, and we recorded him many times uh, overdubbing him uh, over himself, and, and, and we came up with this tune for New Orleans, which really speaks New Orleans to me very much. Yeah, this the second part of the tune was inspired by, there was this, uh, um, what you call it, it was like an impromptu parade uh, on Bourbon Street and there was there was these three guys playing horns in the front and a bunch of people wearing costumes uh, behind it. It was such a nice cultural experience. Okay, let me continue because this video is going to be an hour if I don't if I don't uh, move along. This is called Southern Groove. I were inspired in Savannah, Georgia. Um, the first time we were there, which was a road trip in, in, in uh, 2011. And uh, that was the first time that we rented an RV. And that was the instigator for then, a couple, in part, was the instigator for a couple of years later, us uh, buying Manitini. 
It's kind of inspired on Georgia on my mind. Kind of. Loosely. Derivative, but yeah. Okay, the next three songs I wrote uh, for, for that same first uh, road trip with the RV. It's called, they are called Road Trip Part 1, Road Trip Part 2, and Road Trip Part 3. And I've used them in numerous videos. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm just gonna play a, a little piece of each one of them. I have a couple more songs. This is called Traveling Audio Bed. And this was one of the first ones that I wrote too. It was just something to have behind me while I talk and well, you know, I, I, I do a time lapse of the road. This is, this is, I wrote many, many years ago. And then the last one, of course, the long version of riding with my RV. And you've heard that many, many times, so I'm not gonna play it uh, for too long. Because, actually, I have it in here. And I hope it sounds good through the microphone because I don't feel like uh, let me get rid of this. I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't feel like like connecting an audio out and recording uh, whatever is was being played back from this computer. But I'm gonna show you a little bit how I how I write these uh, songs. And first of all, uh, I use Logic Pro, which is an Apple product, and uh, it works quite well actually. And uh, my favorite feature it has this track that, that is called the drummer track. And down here it shows you the drummer. You can select which uh, drums you want, what the parameters, uh, and uh, what style of drumming. And then you just hit play. And that's the one that I've used uh, for riding with my RV. You, you, you can select how, how much feels you want, how much swing, because of course you can have it like this. Swing it, but you can have it, you know, straight rock and roll. I chose to have it swinging because for this song, it, it just it's just much much better. Then I I came and, and, and wrote the bass, the bass line. Let me mute these guys. And of course, to make it sound a little more live. I have two guitar tracks that I that I played live at the moment. Then we have this Wurlitzer and this melody on the right hand, and that's how it's uh, uh, the, 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 the whole the whole uh, music starts like that. Then what do I have? Okay, let's have some electric guitar, right? Why not? That's the organ. and some electric guitar and then some drum going like here and then I decided why not let's add some brass too so that's how I wrote it and then they, we have this this part that I just I used a regular piano and a harp space harp is called the instrument and then, of course, towards the end, I decided to sing. Why not? So here's a solo track. I'm riding, riding with my RV. And then, Wherever why I not? Want. How about uh, Four Roberts doing background vocals? Riding, riding, riding with my RV. My RV. And then we have all that together, you have the you know, violins. I, I do, you know, I, I start doing one track at a time, and that, that's pretty much how I, com I compose everything. It, it sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it just, you know, uh, happens. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I recorded on the phone uh, a new melody that I'm, I'm probably this afternoon, probably today, I'm gonna work on it a little bit. Well, I don't delay you anymore. Thank you so much for watching, and um, that's it for today. Uh, as I said, this, all, all my music is available everywhere music is sold, but I'm gonna have actual CDs, so if you wanna give it as a gift uh, to somebody, just go to freemyrv.com over there. I, I, I used to sell the stickers only, but now I have the stickers and the CDs, and you can also buy a combo with stickers and the CD together, and you save some money. There's a, I'm gonna show you now, there's a drop-down menu, and uh, and uh, you can get it there. 
And that's it for today. All good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at TravelingRobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at TravelingRobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV